Illinois doctors issue reminders to parents amid the nationwide baby formula shortage. Experts at OSF warn against watering down formula, which can change its composition to a dangerous level. Also, some kids with different medical conditions need specific formula. So experts ask that you don't just buy whatever's on the shelf. And we also want you just to get what you need, because ultimately what we've seen through the pandemic is that a lot of times stockpiling leads to excess anyway. And there are, again, families out there that may need that formula. OSF says that while the Abbott plant is expected to reopen soon, a noticeable supply chain could change, rather, could still be months away. Until then, you can find a list of available resources on the state health department's website. Some lawmakers don't want Americans to fear a baby formula shortage ever again. Washington correspondent Basil John reports on how this bill would keep children fed and avoid future shortages as he keeps you connected to the nation's capital. Lawmakers want to make changes to prevent any future baby formula shortages. This is not just a problem for some babies, it's a problem for the vast majority of infants and their families. New York Democratic Senator Kirsten Gillibrand worries the problem could threaten national security if left unchecked. National security cannot be fully achieved without human security, which requires access to nutrition, clean water, and basic necessities of life. Gillibrand is now advancing legislation to increase domestic production and give the president the authority to allow certain baby formula to be imported and sold in the U.S. We need more resources. The FDA has like six people who do this, which is absurd. Um, we need a lot more people to do the work. Some Republicans agree a similar shortage can't happen again, and it's time to give states the tools they need to solve future challenges. There's no flexibility for the state and others to move to other types, and there was no contingency plan by the administration, nor has there ever been. West Virginia Senator Shelley Moore Capito has not seen Gillibrand's bill, but believes the priority should be securing domestic production. We need to make sure that if something were to happen and the FDA has to close a facility, that we had the ability to uh, create and make uh, at alternate facilities. Both senators agree taking the right steps will also stop problems like hoarding and price gouging. Reporting in Washington, I'm Basil John.